Hi, it's Lindley Oz, and there's some new information I want to share with you. Now, I'm not prophesying an earthquake, okay? I've had people say, you're being a false prophet. I'm not a prophet. I don't claim to be a prophet, and I'm not prophesying anything. I'm just a watchman. I'm sharing information that is being prophesied by other people. And in fact, this particular prophecy has been prophesied years ago and is being prophesied today by others. So I want to share it with you um, so that you can be prepared should this prophecy come into play. Okay, now I had shared with you in the last video about John Shorey had a dream. And in his dream, he was with people that he knew from the Northwest Seattle area. It was about an earthquake that was about to hit the Northwest. It had not yet happened. But he says we were discussing it as if it had already happened. In the dream, we knew this quake was of the same magnitude as the earthquake that hit Alaska in 1964, which is said to have been a magnitude 9.2. Like I said, we were discussing it as if it had happened, but it had not yet happened. It was like I was warning the people I knew, but they would not take it seriously. However, they seemed to know it was going to happen. And he feels soon because of this dream that... Um, that this is going to be something that happened. Well, three days later, after spending a lot of time in prayer, God confirmed his dream to him. He asked God if this dream was really going to happen. He even asked God if he would um, give this dream to him the second time, but he didn't have the dream a second time. But as he was praying, he continued to ask God to confirm if this dream was from him. He then went to his office to read his Bible. As he was reading his Bible, he just happened to be reading from the book of Psalms, and Psalm 18, 6 through 7, jumped out at him, saying, In my distress, I called to the Lord. I cried to my God for help. From his temple, he heard my voice. My cry came before him into his ears. The earth trembled and quaked, and the foundations of the mountains shook. They trembled because he was angry. Well, then, um, he also says that on, on December of 1995, Reverend Jonathan Hansen gave a prophecy regarding many predictions of what would happen to America in the coming years. And most of them have come to pass with great accuracy. And it says one item that is yet to happen was a predicted powerful Northwest earthquake. So this prediction by somebody else, Jonathan Hansen, also basically was the same thing that John Shorey, the best-selling author of The Window of Lord's Return, um, had had. Now you can go to www.tribulationtruth.com and check out John Shorey. And I love John Shorey. He is a very genuine person. He's not out after money. He has a genuine heart for God wanting to get the truth out and the warning out to people. He is very concerned that people are not going to be prepared for what is coming. And his book is very riveting. I encourage you to get a copy of his book and sit down and read it. It is an easy read. Um, it is very informative. It is quite mind-blowing. I couldn't put it down. So I encourage you to go to tribulationtruth.com and check out some of his articles and check out his book. It's not expensive either. It's fairly cheap. So order a book and give it a read. You really need to. Anyhow, back to the subject here on this dream and the earthquake. Well, here's something else interesting. Notice that in um, 2013 on May 11th is when he had the dream. And this post, by the way, has been up here for a long time. I've seen it before. Okay. So then here's an article on Seattle PI. And I'll give you the link in my article I'm doing about this. Titled, 50th Anniversary Warning, a Mega Thrust Quake Like Alaska's 9.2 Will Hit Seattle. This was posted on March 27th of 2014. It says, the devastating Mega Thrust earthquake that struck Alaska 50 years ago, Thursday, is a pretty good indication of what's in store for Seattle and the upper regions of the West Coast when the Cascadia subduction zone lets one fly. And we all thought the 6.8 Nisqually earthquake of 2001 was big. Well, look at these photos from the 9.2 magnitude Alaskan megathrust quake. Okay, and here's some of the photos from that quake. You can just see the all-out devastation 
and chaos. Look at that right there. And here. So there's a lot of pictures here. There's 28, but I'm just showing you some of them. I will, like I said, leave you the link and you can go check out all the pictures if you like. I mean, look at this big split right here. I mean, that's pretty bad. Okay. It says the nearly completed six story four seasons apartment building just off L Street in Anchorage, Alaska lies in ruins after yesterday's earthquake, but a home beside it appears damaged March 28th, 1964. Okay, so this was back in 1964. So that news clip there, I just read you when it said yesterday's quake, that was the day after this earthquake in 1964. It says, luckily, these mega thrust magnitude nine quakes happen only every few hundred years. So Alaska should be fine for many more decades. Unlucky for this part of the Northwest, however, the last Cascadia megathrust was a few hundred years ago, so we're due. On the 314-year anniversary of the last one, the Cascadia Region Earthquake Workgroup published an updated scenario document for what that magnitude um, quake would do to us now. The group said in a news release, Cascadia's last great earthquake occurred in January 26 of 1700, and stresses have been building on the fault ever since. While the full extent of the earthquake hazard was not realized until the 1980s, the Cascadia subduction zone is now one of the most closely studied and monitored regions in the world. Now there is a lot more to this article that you will want to check out in this video here I'll post in my article as well, but there is a ton of information here and more pictures, okay? So you definitely want to go and check out this article. It's too much for me just to sit here and, and go over with you in this video. Now, if that wasn't enough, let's take a look at this. Right here, David Wilkerson's Prophecy, Earthquakes in Japan and USA. It said, Earthquake, Earthquakes coming to the U.S. The United States is going to experience in the not-too-distant future the most tragic earthquakes in its history. One day soon, this nation will be reeling under the impact of the biggest news story of modern times. It will be coverage of the biggest, most disastrous earthquake in history. It will cause widespread panic and fear. Without a doubt, it will become one of the most completely reported earthquakes ever. Television networks will suspend all programming and carry all-day coverage. Another earthquake, possibly in Japan, may precede the one that I see coming here. There is not the slightest doubt in my mind about this forthcoming massive earthquake in our continent. Now listen to this. I am not at all convinced that this earthquake will take place in California. In fact, I believe it is going to take place where it is least expected. This terrible earthquake may happen in an area that is not known as an earthquake belt. It will be so high on the Richter scale that it will trigger two other major earthquakes. Now, this is from Chapter 2 of David Wilkerson's 1974 book, The Vision. And, um, see, you have to understand, he says that he believes it's going to take place where it is least expected. Okay, everybody's looking for the um, San Andreas Fault earthquake, or they're looking for the New Madrid fault line. Nobody's really thinking about this northwest earthquake. All right, so this is one thing to look at. And so then you've got what David Wilkerson said, accompanied by everything else that's being prophesied, including the article that I just showed you from the PI News. Let's go back to it. Um, stating a mega thrust quake like Alaska's 9.2 will hit Seattle, posted on March 27th of this year, 2014, from Seattle PI. Okay, so um, I don't believe that's a Christian news place. Okay, it's just a Seattle PI news. So this is pretty intense. Then this is from June 29th of this year from the European Union Times. It says world goes on high alert after Arizona quake confirms worst fears. And it says an ominous report prepared by the main intelligence directorate 
that is circulating in the Kremlin today states that confirmation has been received from China's Ministry of State Security that the world's largest ever military maritime exercises now underway in the Pacific Ocean have been ordered to their highest alert status after the 5.2 magnitude earthquake that hit Arizona hours ago was confirmed as being a part of the still expanding and mysterious North American magnetic anomaly. Important to note, and as we had reported on in our 13th June report, Russia issues grim report on North American magnetic anomaly. Commander-in-Chief of the Air Force, Lieutenant General Viktor Bondarev, then warned that a catastrophic event may be nearing for the North American region that his forces had electronically swept for magnetic anomalies barely at fortnight ago, stretching from Alaska to California. So there you've got the whole Alaska thing again. I mean, look at this. You've got to look at this. Now, now this is a video um, from 1973, a vision um, by David Wilkerson that discusses these terrible things that are coming to America. And John Shorey, the author of The Window of the Lord's Return, ended up, you know, I've told you the story before, but for those of you who have missed it, the Lord moved him to go out in the desert because John lives out in the desert and, you know, moved him to go out to pray. Well, he went out to pray, but he was cold. So he went back in real quick to get a jacket. He grabbed a jacket he hadn't, had not worn in over a year. And he discovered in his pocket a book by David Wilkerson that he never remembered seeing before. Set thy trumpet to thy mouth. And it happened to be dog-eared on a page about the you know, collapse of the economy and other things like this coming to America. So um, that's something in itself. So you've got that going on. And then you've got these prophecies by different people. Folks, this is something to really pay attention to. Now I'm going to post this David Wilkerson video on my um news stories. So I encourage you to check it out. You know, there's a bunch of different prophetic David Wilkerson videos. So be sure in case you haven't heard this one and listen to it. It is amazing. It, it gives you chills to listen to these things. Now, all I'm trying to do, I'm not a prophet. Okay. I don't claim to be a prophet. God has given me words. Like that last article I wrote, there was a couple paragraphs there that the Holy Spirit moved me to put in there. But I do not call myself a prophet. I am a watchman. A watchman is somebody that God sends out to warn. And the things that God sends a watchman out to warn about are never happy things. In fact, it's usually negative things. And he warns the people to give them a chance, to give them the opportunity to prepare themselves and most of all to repent and come to Jesus. So I want you to check this out. This is stuff that you don't want to miss. You can't afford to miss. Things are getting ready to happen. When exactly, I don't know. But they're saying either this year, they feel strongly this year or at the latest next year. So please, please, please pray and prepare yourselves for this. Thanks so much and God bless you.